Hi everyone, this is Catherine again. Um, I actually received a request from one of the viewers about a month ago to do a video on the differences between Pocket Plus and A6 size Traveler's Notebook cover from Chic Sparrow. So um, I finally got some time today and I decided to just quickly come up and do this video for you guys. Um, hopefully this will be helpful for people out there who are looking for different options for their A6 um, notebook covers. So I have several things here. Um, they're all from Chic Sparrow. I really am, I'm really happy with their quality and you know the I I did at one point have both Foxy Fix and Chic Sparrow, but I really did like how um the Chic Sparrow's leather feels um and how everything is in stock already so they ship out really quickly i don't have to wait a month or even more than a month sometimes um for the covers to arrive but at the same time i did like how um from foxy fix i could customize it to exactly how i wanted it but um ultimately i decided that chic sparrow is more of uh, it suits my taste better um, so that's why you see all of these notebook covers from Chic Sparrow. And I actually do have more. And this is right, these are actually not even all the A6 size covers that I have. I have more, but I also have them in different sizes as well. But today I just wanted to do a comparison of all the different options that Chic Sparrow has for the A6 notebook. So here. I have the newest folio that they released about, I think a month ago. Um, and I did do a video on this, comparing this to the um, G, G Feller or Good Feller um, notebook cover. Um, so I have this, this one, this one is from Chic Sparrow for A6. And the leather is um, the Mockingbird leather and I'm sorry, uh, and the color is Nightingale. Um, this is my A6 Isology. Um, I have three butter rum here uh, from the Mr. Darcy leather line. Um, I got them all around the same time. These two I got brand new, and then this one I got from the Buy Sell Trade group. Um, this was my first Darcy and I really liked it. So I went ahead and purchased these two. Um, so these two are both deluxe. Uh, but this one is A6 and this one is Pocket Plus. I thought I would take these two out because they're the exact same leather. They're both deluxe. So I wanted to compare them side to side for you guys to see the differences of how um, A6 size notebook will fit in them. And here I also have a Pocket Plus um, in the Waypoint leather in the black, uh, vintage black color. Um, this is Pocket Plus. And here I have the Creme Brulee um, leather. And this is A6. This is actually my first Chic Sparrow. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this cover. Um, when I first received it, um, just uh, on a side note, I, when I first received it, um, I was really disappointed by how it looked because it was much more wrinkly than I had anticipated. And um, it was also really matte. So it was just this interesting texture and color. Um, but now that I've had it for about three months, I really, really... I'm starting to like this and creme is still one of my favorite color uh, one of my favorite leathers from Chic Sparrow and I do have more notebook covers um, that are in this um, leather so um, first I bought this cover because I thought okay I have a six notebook 
So I should buy the A6 notebook cover. And I, so at first I didn't have these um, inserts in here. I only wanted to use the um, A6 Allergy um, notebook in this or um, the equivalent. So for example, the NAMI A6 um, notebook or any other uh, notebook that's in that size. And um, I just, there, there's nothing, I mean, I don't have anything against Traveler's Notebook, like where you slide in these thin inserts, but I just don't really like writing in thin notebooks. I really like the idea of having chunky notebooks that I fill out, um, and it just gives me a sense of accomplishment after I finish using them. So that's why. Um, so when I first bought this, I... You know, obviously, if I have one notebook in here, this is way too chunky. You can see that there's a lot of room left here. I can fit my finger inside here. And I felt like the notebook actually doesn't really slide around if I just slide it into the back pocket. So the best way to use this, if you have, if you decide to go with an A6 size cover, is to slide in one notebook on the back like this and one notebook in the front like this and um so that fits really well um you can see that everything is fitting really nicely you still have a little bit of room in the back um, but it's not that bad um so it's pretty perfect so if you're if you like that look you should get the a6 size um and also this is good if you don't want to slide in um the notebook through the straps in the back and because you can just slide it into the pockets um interestingly i don't know why but i thought this method would work with the B6 size as well with the B6 Stalogy, but it does not. So the B6 notebook does not actually fit inside the pockets. Um, that's something very interesting to me. Um, I don't know why it would be different. But, um, and then after this, I decided to try out the Pocket Plus because when I checked out their dimensions online, I felt like the A6 allergy would fit into it perfectly. So I bought this on the buy sell trade group. Um, and I was right, it does fit really well. But the only thing is that the straps are made for pocket size notebooks. Um, so field note um, size notebooks. So this is much shorter than the actual Stalogy notebook. So if you can see here, the strap is actually going up to meet the notebook and then this is going down and if you look at the um, front the notebook does not actually come out at all um, if it's just right and then I have some space here so this is this is a classic butter rum so that's how that fits I quite like it I think this is perfect for just having one notebook and if you don't mind um, having the strings going through um, the notebook you can do that and it, also if you check out um if you check out i think sarah martinez has a video on how to um string in notebook without hurting the spine um she i think she made a cover with a card um cardstock paper and you just string the string through that and that way you don't have to hurt the notebook. But personally, I don't think this is gonna be a problem for me. Um, the binding seems to be pretty sturdy uh, and I'm not like changing it out every every you know week or whatever. So um, I don't think that will be a problem for me. So I'm just keeping it here. This one I use for my budgeting, uh, monthly budgets and um, our rental income. So that's what I use that for. And so now I will show you the butter rum A6 versus the bucket plus. So right now this is empty. I was carrying this as my everyday carry. Um, 
So I will take out these two notebooks here. So the front one, I will slide into the front. And the back one, I will slide in to the back. I was carrying it like this. Okay, put a pen in there to show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is my A6, this is my um, Pocket Plus. So you see that the size difference is very slight. So if I put the Pocket Plus flush, you can see that the A6 is just slightly taller. And on the side, you can see that it has about maybe a quarter inch, a quarter inch wider. But if you look at how the notebooks fit, I have two A6 Allergy notebooks here, and I have two A6 Allergy notebooks here. Um, you can see that there is a bit of a space in the back. Um, it fits much, I wouldn't say better, but it just seems like this notebook is made for um, the A6 size if you do choose to use two of them together. But if you like the look of that flush um, notebook to the letter cover um, look, then I would recommend the Pocket Plus because see how beautifully it fits. It's very snug. Um, but the only problem is that obviously you cannot slide this notebook into this pocket here. You have to use the strings in the back. Um, and if that's not a problem for you and you don't mind doing that, um, then I would recommend getting the Pocket Plus for your ASICs. Um, but, on the other hand, if you only need one notebook per cover, then I would highly recommend getting their A6 folio because it's just so thin. I mean, this letter that I have is, a, uh, is the thinnest letter that um, Shakespeare offers. I'm actually not sure if the um, black waypoint is thinner or actually the mockingbird is thinner than the waypoint even. So this is really light um, and I really like how my notebook fits in there and it is made for putting a notebook inside. Um, the only thing is that there is no string but you can obviously just punch a hole here and then uh, buy their string and then create a string yourself. So that's always an option for you. This is actually my favorite cover right now because I just love this color. Um, I would never buy um, this um, in anything other than a folio because I just don't like how the inside of the letter looks. And since this one is all covered up with the out, um, exterior side of the leather. I'm okay with this. Um, but the reason why I have so many traveler notebook cover instead of folio is because I really did not like their previous folio design with the double stitching and the contrast stitching. And they also had this weird um, leather that's different from the outside leather inside and I just really did not like that. Um, that's why I purchased so many traveler signs, uh, traveler's notebook covers. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, I personally prefer, I, I don't actually mind either the Pocket Plus or the A6. I, I mean, they're both fine to me. It's just sometimes I feel like the A6 cover might get a little bit bulky. Um, especially nowadays, I'm very pregnant and I only carry a small purse with me. That's a crossbody bag. And so whatever that's smaller, 
um, I would prefer so that's why for now I think this is better but I mean the A6 size is not that much bigger so um, I mean it's really up to you it just depends on how you like your notebook to fit inside your cover so I hope that was helpful um, for you guys um, shopping for A6 notebook covers um, I think I will do a video next on the fountain pens that I um, I have. Um, I purchased quite a few fountain pens recently and I definitely have some opinions on them and I hope that could be helpful for people out there who are looking for their first fountain pen or a second or you know or just looking for something fun to um, um, to add to their you know notebook collection okay thank you for watching i'll see you next time